गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गौरी पाटिल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स फ्रॉम आर्ट्स साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज रामानंद नगर बुली स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस चैप्टर स्कॉडिजर वेव इक्वेशन विच इज फ्रॉम पेपर क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स पेपर नंबर टेन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दी वॉट इज वेव फंक्शन मीन्स हाउ दी वेव फंक्शन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स Now in this lecture we will discuss about the what is Schrodinger wave equation and how wave function plays significant role in this Schrodinger wave equation. So students, what is Schrodinger wave equation? So Schrodinger wave equation is the mathematical expression which describes the energy and position of the electron in the space and time. Means by taking this into the account, matter waves. nature of the electron inside the atom means this quadrilateral wave equation which describes how these are means how these waves are influenced by the external forces means this equation also makes the use of energy conservation concept which offers detailed behavior of electron which is attached to the nucleus so student basically this quadrilateral wave equation which is based on the three consideration first consideration is classical plane wave equation second is de broglie's uh, hypothesis of matter waves and third one is the conservation of energy so schrodinger wave equation gives detailed account of the form of wave function or probability waves which controls the motion of some smaller particles so students in this lecture we will we'll discuss about the physical significance of this wave function psi means how this wave function plays the important role in the schrodinger wave equation so students now we will study in detail about the physical significance of this students in last lecture we have discussed about the wave function means what is mean by wave function and how it plays very important role in quantum mechanics so students in today's lecture we will discuss about the schrodinger's wave equation means in our today's life our important thing is our aadhar card number similarly in case of quantum mechanics the wave function is the key of that quantum mechanical system which gives the all information of this quantum mechanical system or it is denoted by which it is denoted by psi of vector r and t means the psi is wave function psi which is function of position coordinate r vector and time t so wave function psi is the function of both position coordinate r bar and time t means it depends with x y z coordinate which coordinate it depends with x y and z coordinate and time also in three dimensional case in which case in three dimensional case means psi function which is denoted by r vector psi of r vector and time t which is function of position coordinate r bar and time t so if you have one system which is moving only along x direction okay if you have one system and which is only moving in this positive x direction then this wave function whose wave function will be like this psi of x t means in classical mechanics we get the value of x by solving second order differential equation similarly we can solve the wave function psi through one equation means in classical mechanics we solve second order differential equation and we get some solution of this second order differential equation as x so similarly in the quantum mechanics there is a one equation and whose solution means by solving this equation we get solution of this equation which is psi so this solution of this equation which gives the value of psi and which is that equation do you know which is that equation 
and by using or by solving this equation we get get the value of sin so student this equation is known as the schrodinger's wave equation means all quantum mechanics is totally based on the schrodinger's wave equation means how the newton's laws of motion are fundamental of classical mechanics all classical mechanics is based on newton's law similarly all quantum mechanics is based on the schrodinger's wave equation now we will see the derivation of schrodinger's wave equation but before this uh, this uh, derivation i will write here what is the schrodinger's wave equation so here schrodinger's wave equation is eta h cut into curly psi by curly t which is equal to minus h cut square upon 2m into curly square psi upon curly x square plus v psi so students this is the schrodinger's wave equation and here we consider one dimensional case okay here we consider one dimensional equation schrodinger wave equation because we take here only x direction means the particle which is moving only in the x direction so here what is v here v is the potential energy of the system here v is the potential energy of system so student this is the schrodinger wave equation for which the particle which is moving in the positive x direction and the equation is how you say this equation iota eta h cut curly psi by curly t which is equal to minus h square h cut square upon 2m into curly square psi upon curly x square plus v psi so students as we know that that schrodinger wave equation in quantum mechanics plays same role as the newton second law of motion played in classical mechanics means in classical mechanics um, we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration means schrodinger wave equation is analogous to the newton second law in the classical mechanics which is second law newton second law in classical mechanics this is force is equal to mass into acceleration means in quantum mechanics you cannot define exact location of the particle in classical mechanics you can uh, there is a accuracy or there is a surety about the position and the momentum of the particle but in classical mechanics you cannot define the exact location of the particle means according to heisenberg what we uh, what we have discussed in the uh, chapter matter wave that according to heisenberg we cannot determine the position and the momentum of the quantum mechanical particle at the same time with the accuracy means uh, if you find the position of the particle accurately then there is a some uncertainty in the momentum of the particle and if you find the momentum accurately then there will be some uncertainty in the position of the particle means uh, you can say uh, wh what is uh, heisenberg uncertainty principle we have studied in the last lecture uh, in matter wave chapter so we know that the product of uncertainty in position and the uncertainty in the momentum is greater than or equal to h cut this means the product of position and the product of momentum which is greater than or equal to h cut and this is the this is what this is the heisenberg uncertainty principle means here in the quantum mechanics the particle which is not localized but in classical mechanics the particle is localized in classical mechanics everything is fixed classical particle is different than quantum particle means but in quantum mechanics what in quantum mechanics quantum particle is represented by group of waves 
which we call wave packets this uh, term of wave packet which we have also dis uh, discussed in the chapter matter wave under the point wave packets okay uh, where we have studied group velocity and the phase velocity and how group velocity uh, form and how phase velocity and when uh, two or more waves are moving and when these two or more uh, numbers of waves are interfere with each other then how wave packets are formed these all things are we, uh, we have discussed in the chapter matter wave under the point wave packets so students uh, as we have discussed that in quantum mechanics quantum particle which is represented by group of waves which we call wave packets so i will give you one uh, another example uh, of the waves means uh, we know that there are so many types of the waves means uh, there are first one is the light wave okay uh, we know that there are light waves then second one is the sound wave then again electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves uh, if we uh, take one example means if we put stone into water then there is a formation of water waves which is periodic in space and time okay means when we take uh, when we put some stone into the water then there is a formation of water waves and these water waves are periodic in what these are periodic uh, water waves water waves periodics in space and time space and time then also in sound wave if we uh, take the example of the sound wave in sound wave there is a air pressure which is changes periodically with space and time means and how the sound waves are produced we also know that the sound waves are produced by the compression and the rare fraction means sound wave sound waves are periodic in the periodic uh, these are uh, in sound waves air pressure which is changes periodically with periodically with space and time okay means in water wave water waves changes periodically with space and time in sound waves the sound wave the air pressure which changes periodically with the space and time so if we take the example of electromagnetic wave then what happens in this electromagnetic or light waves in electromagnetic waves electric field and the magnetic field which varies periodically with the space and time means electromagnetic which are consisting of oscillations of the electric and magnetic field means here in light waves or in electromagnetic spectra electromagnetic wave which varies periodically means here electric field and the magnetic field which varies periodically with the space and time means in electromagnetic waves electric field and magnetic field electric field and magnetic field vary periodically with space and time with space and time means electromagnetic wave consist of oscillating electric and magnetic field similarly in quantum mechanics which physical quantity will be varies with space and time means in light wave as we discussed before that in light waves electric field and magnetic waves varies with periodically with space and time in light wave uh, sorry in uh, water wave the water waves which are peri varies periodically with the space and time 
similarly in sound wave air pressure which is varies periodically with space and time so my question is that that in quantum mechanics which physical quantity will vary with space and time so here wave function is vary with space and time so students in quantum mechanics wave function in so i can write here that in in quantum mechanical system which function is vary in quantum mechanics wave function is vary with space and time space and time so students you see how psi is very important in the quantum mechanics and in quantum mechanics you see psi everywhere okay student means here we see that in next slide we will see that what are the physical significance of psi uh, so students this psi is a very important physical uh, quantity but uh, here we have to keep in mind that psi is not observable means we will see how physical significance make and also keep in mind that psi is not observable means uh, if you have one scale then you can measure its length mass breadth but you cannot measure psi by using any instrument means psi has no any feelings but when psi will becomes meaningful here i have discussed lot of things or i have discussed about a uh, lot of information about the psi that physical uh, now we are uh, we are going to discuss about the physical significance of psi means we know that physical significance uh, we will see how physical significance make and how uh, psi will be meaningful so when its physical significance made when psi is multiplied by its complex conjugate psi star then we get a real quantity and which has a definite physical significance means a uh, complex number um, which we have uh, you have studied complex conjugate chapter uh, in the 11th standard of complex number chapter in math so students real number when we add the real number and imaginary number then you get the complex number so students here uh as we know that what is psi what is psi students psi is the is equal to it is the combination of imaginary number and the real number so here you can write psi is equal to a plus i b means here in psi wave function there is one complex function and which includes one real part and one imaginary part okay now take complex conjugate of this function by changing its sign of i we get complex conjugate means here you can write psi star here as a a minus i b here this is i is eta and when you multiply this psi by psi star means here here psi into psi star which is equal to this is mod of psi square mod of psi square which is equal to a plus i b eta b into a minus eta b so by solving these two brackets you will get which value a square minus eta b square as you know that i square which is equal to minus 1 so by putting this value of minus 1 here you can write here a square plus b square so here a square plus b square which is the real quantity and a square plus b square has a physical significance means students you can say if you want any information about quantum mechanical system you have to start from psi means once again i will repeat means 
students if you have uh, or you uh, when you want any information about quantum mechanical system you have to start from psi in quantum mechanics means in quantum mechanics if you have one box and quantum particle which is inside in this box then you can find its exact location velocity you can say anything with surety but in quantum mechanics there is always uncertainty which was not in classical mechanics means in classical mechanics there is a surety but if you have one box or any in uh, quantum particle which is inside this box then you cannot find its exact location and the velocity so suppose uh, or when you have to find its exact location and the velocity you have to start from which you have to start from the wave function psi then you put its complex conjugate psi star means when you have to find the position of the electron or any quantum mechanical particle then first you have to find the uh, psi then you take the complex conjugate of this psi which is psi star and then by multiplying psi into psi star which gives the probability density of the finding that quantum mechanical particle so students here this is the schrodinger wave equation and uh, how there are the physical significance of psi which you have this case in this entire lecture so students now we will stop here and in the next lecture we will discuss about the schrodinger wave equation for the one dimensional or schrodinger time dependent equation for the one dimensional case